Welcome to Stonk Insights, your one-stop shop for stock and crypto analysis and discovery. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Ethereum Classic, just giving the update on it and an update on my mining situation with the HT hotspot miner with me trying to purchase one. Let's just say that it didn't go as smooth as I wanted to, but it wasn't of any fault of mine. It was because of, you know, the actual company. So we're going to get into that. Uh, before I go any further, though, I just want to stress, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing heard in this video should be considered financial advice. Please, before you get into any equity, stock or crypto that you hear about, do your own due diligence, do your own research. If you follow any influencer or any YouTuber's advice without doing your own research, you have a high probability to get wrecked. Don't get wrecked. So we're going to jump into this article. I just wanted to quickly go over some things with Ethereum Classic. I'm not going to be showing the portfolio because it hasn't changed. I'm still up. You know, Ethereum Classic is still right in between that channel between $45 or $46 and like high 49s. We really haven't been able to break the 40, or I'm sorry, the $52 price wall. So we've just been, you know, riding in between that channel. But, you know, I'm still up and I believe, you know, once Bitcoin takes off, that's going to help, you know, the other cryptocurrencies within the top 100 take off. And being Ethereum Classic is more higher on a top 100 chart. I think it's going to have a more parabolic effect. OK, so let's look at this tweet from blockchains forklifts. It states Ethereum being worth more than Ethereum Classic would be like if Bitcoin Cash was bigger than Bitcoin. That would be crazy. See what I'm saying? And he says, get some ETC. You know, I, I'm not saying that, but I, I I thought this was a great point. OK, so let's just talk about Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin. So Bitcoin Cash is a fork of Bitcoin. And the reason why they forked was to make for a bigger block size so that more transactions could happen within a block. And this would help with the scaling issue with Bitcoin because Bitcoin isn't really scalable. The more transactions that happen at the same time, I mean, if you had any, if you've done any, you know, DeFi work with Bitcoin, you know that it takes 30 minutes, sometimes a little bit less, but 30 minutes between 30 and 45 minutes. That's just my experience for any transaction to go through. Obviously, I, be I believe the bigger the transaction size, you know, I believe some miners have the ability to pick and choose, you know, what transactions they want to, you know, do. But just in my experience, it's just been 30 to 45 minutes to make a transaction with Bitcoin or send it to another exchange or whatnot. So Bitcoin Cash, like I said, is supposed to help with that, with the speed and the scalability, just because there's a bigger block size so they can put more transaction transactions within a block. OK, but what i mean what happened you know so even though this is supposed to help with the scaling you know problem with bitcoin bitcoin is still has a you know it's the dominant you know cryptocurrency still has a bigger market cap and bitcoin cash is supposedly in an improvement of bitcoin in the same instance and not exactly the same with ethereum and ethereum classic Ethereum Classic was forked into Ethereum because of the DAO attack in no way, shape or form developers to take any blame for. OK, it wasn't their fault for that DAO attack. OK, it was because of that third party company. I, I talked about it. I, forget, I, did, I can't remember the name right on the top of my head, but they didn't check their programming and it was because of the faulty programming, even with someone telling them that the programming was faulty. Hint, hint. I mean, I don't, I don't know. It sounds like a conspiracy to me, but I'm not going to get into that. But even with, you know, other programmers saying, hey, you have some type of bug in your programming that can cause for this negative effect to happen. They didn't check it out. And lo and behold, they had that $50 million doll attack and they argument, argumentatively did the fork into Ethereum. OK. So again, this is no fault of the Ethereum creators. OK, they didn't you know, there was there was no problem with the Ethereum Classic. I mean, I'm sorry. So, yeah, there's no problem with Ethereum Classic. It was because of the Dow attack that they did the fork to save those investors funds. So I thought this was very interesting because, you know, th this just makes sense. You know, 
the Ethereum Classic, in my opinion, should be where Ethereum is, and Ethereum should be where Ethereum Classic is. I think the problem is just because of the, you know, there's not like a lot of developers on Ethereum Classic, but that's building up. That's building up as we speak. And once Ethereum goes 2.0 and goes proof of stake, well, just goes proof of stake, you know, there's going to be a lot of miners not able to mine Ethereum. And because Ethereum and Ethereum Classics share the same algorithm to mine, that just makes it just makes sense for them to use their mining capabilities and just switch over to Ethereum Classic. And this is going to entice other DAC creators, other DEX creators to come to Ethereum Classic because there's going to be a need for them to come over there because of the mine. So I just wanted to go into that real quick. Next, I just want to really go into, you know, real quick that Binance has successfully implemented the recent Ethereum Classic Magneto network upgrade. So I guess the deposits were frozen for a little bit, but now, you know, nothing was affected during the upgrade. So now that the upgrade has, has happened and just went through, everything should be running smooth. So thank Binance, they're updated to the Magneto upgrade. And now we just have all the you know, more networks are congruent within, you know, this updated network so that's your news for ethereum classic ethereum classic army i'm with you next we're gonna get into helium all right so this is the miner i was looking at the since since cat m1 so you know we took a look at this in my previous video and i stated in that video it was two days ago that they were supposed to have a sale that night so this is what happened okay i got everything ready I'm gonna show you, okay? I got, I have my HT wallet ready, okay? Well, yeah, let me just go into that right now. So this is my Explorer right here, HT wallet ready. I had some problems with sending funds over, so right now I only have two hundred and four dollars, which was actually less than this, but because you know the helium price kind of pumped, you know, since I got in, I got in at the you know a great time. The price right now is two hundred four with sixteen point five five helium balance, okay? so i was ready to do the whole steps that they had okay so you know this is the the coupon steps okay so i, I had all the steps figured out or whatnot the problem was they did a sale earlier for the eu they ran into some issues they put out a statement like on the eu side and within that statement they had embedded that they were stopping or they were postponing the u.s sale and I didn't look at that post because, you know, it was for the EU. I didn't think it had anything to pertain with the USA. So I was ready at 9 p.m. two days ago, ready, 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 you know, to, you know, I was kind of disappointed because, you know, I want, and, you know, I'm not disappointed now because I have plenty of time. We scroll down here. See, I have 10 hours. So I have, you know, some more money that I'm going to put into the Helium account so I can get the maximum. And the maximum I can get is three miners. So we're going to be going for the max today since we got time, you know, so I'm going to put that into the account. You know, they have some system to where, you know, once I log in, you know, I'll be able, I'll be queued. Once my queue comes up, I'll purchase the coupons with the helium that I have in my wallet. And then once I have the coupons, they'll direct me to the retailer or the wholesaler or whatnot. I can buy or the wholesaler, I, I hope that I can buy these helium miners for all three of them. And the coupon actually takes off $300 from the price is gonna be shown. So it's not $300 plus the miners, it's a $300 coupon that goes towards the mine. All gravy towards, you know, for me, you know. So I got 10 hours to do so. Like I said, you know, I'm gonna be up in this balance by 100, well, a little bit more than 100, you know, you don't know what what's gonna happen with helium. The only reason why I haven't added yet is because helium has taken a little bit of a dip so if i can get it low you know i, I want to get it as low as i can you know so even and like i said when i deposited this balance it was like 185 bucks okay so there is a range you know if it, if it gets down that low then i'm gonna have to deposit 120 you know dollars worth of helium in there you know so i'm just waiting on that just making sure that i'm putting in the right amount you know to make sure i have no no issues no problems you know what i'm saying 
I don't want to put in a hundred bucks and then helium drops and I can still only get two miners, you know what I'm saying? And I want to have a little bit extra in there because there is a possibility and I'm not sure because I, I, I guess I haven't read every single thing, but to set up for locations, so I'm gonna have three miners, so I'm gonna have three different locations, but I have read that there's a possibility that there's a $10 charge or a $10 charge in helium that I would have to pay for different locations. So just in case it's not, you know, that, that price isn't included with the miner. So like in the instance with the Bobcat 300, I know when you initially set it up for a location, that $10 charge is like already like paid for it. Okay, but if you were to switch it to another like location, then you have to pay, you know, additional three hundred dollars. I'm I'm sorry, additional ten dollars. Holy moly! So with that, hopefully, you know, they have, and if you like, I said, hopefully it's included with the sense cap. But if not, I'm going to be prepared ahead of time, so I have some extra funds, so I can, you know, set these miners up up, and I don't have to keep on sending money to my healing wallet. Real quick, unfortunately, so I have crypto.com and I know you can purchase helium on crypto.com, but you cannot send helium from crypto.com out to any external wallet. Okay. I want to let you know that right now I, I tried it. I tried it and I was actually sweating because I, I didn't think I was going to make the sale at nine o'clock. And I was like, you know, what's going on here? I actually had was uh, what I had to do was I switched it over to BNB. And thankfully, I was able to send BNB out to an external wallet. So I just sent my BNB from crypto.com to Binance.us, which was risky in itself because, of, you know, what's going on with Binance? You know, they're having all these regulatory issues. The CEO of Binance stated that, you know, he's thinking about resigning like I, I, I. So I made sure to try to get that money as quick as possible off of Binance. You know, I don't have, I got like a few bucks on there, but I don't have anything major. And I'm, I won't because I don't want to lock it up. I'm just going to use Binance as an intermediary between DeFi because I know, you know, I can transfer funds from Binance to my MetaMask or to my Binance wallet and, you know, transfer it over to my MetaMask. And I'm going to use it to off ramp you know, fiat if you know I have to. So I'll be able to send helium to the wallet and then transfer it over and, you know, off ramp it, ramp it off to my bank. Okay. That's what I'm using it for. So that's it for the video. Oh guys. So thank you for watching it guys and gals. If you like this video, please like this video. If you're new here, subscribe. You know, I talk about crypto. I've been talking about Ethereum classic. We're going to be talking about helium. We're going to be talking about other cryptos. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you in the next one.